What's up, gentlemen? So today, in honor of St. Patrick's Day being right around the corner, I thought we'd do something a little bit different. I have teamed up with my favorite Irish whiskey brand, Bushmills, to go over seven drinking rules all men should follow. So if you are ready to party, gentlemen, boom, drop me one of those to be like, yo, Alpha, if I see you out and about, I'm coming up and you better buy me a Bushmills. Gentlemen, today we're gonna have a little bit of fun. So here's the deal. The goal for each and every one of us when we go out is to have an incredible time. But in order for you to maximize your experience and have the best time possible, you got to make sure you don't do a few things. It all starts with the first rule. Have a plan on how you're getting there and how you're getting home. There is zero excuse for drinking and driving. So personally, I hate relying on a designated driver and I honestly don't do it. And there are two reasons for that. Reason number one is that I have seen it a lot of times where a designated driver will actually go and be like, I'm just going to have one drink or two drinks. If you have anything, you should not be driving. And the other reason is that sometimes I might want to leave prior to the rest of the group and so if you go with a bunch of dudes or a few people you need to wait for everybody to leave in order for you to go. I want to wait for them. I want to go grab a slice of pizza and go home and chill and watch Netflix or leave with that sassy lassie which is why each and every one of you should have some type of ride share app on your phone. The second drinking rule all men should follow is pre-party prep. Now what I'm talking about is what you eat and what you drink prior to going out. There's nothing worse than going Going out, having like one or two drinks and getting wasted, right? The reason is because you went out on an empty stomach. What I'd recommend is prior to going out, eat a high protein meal prior to going out. And the reason is because protein is a lot slower digesting. It's going to give you something in your stomach. But the other reason is that when you're digesting and when you've eaten protein, your blood alcohol level doesn't rise as fast. It is also critical that you are hydrated prior to going out and actually drinking any alcohol. The reason is because when you drink alcohol, this dehydrates you. If you are not properly hydrated prior to going out, you're going to have one hell of a hangover. The third drinking rule that all men should follow is bring the essentials. All right, I do not want you bringing all of your credit cards, your debit cards, your social security card, and all the crap you carry normally in your wallet. When you go out, you need three things. You need your license. I mean license. You also need a credit card. One credit card. Don't bring like five. One credit card. Because if you lose this, it's a lot easier just to cancel one as opposed to like 27. And you need some cash. Now, cash. You're like, yo, who uses cash? Well, if you're going to a bar, you need to make sure that you've got a few bucks for a tip. Small bills, ones, fives, and tens. Which brings me to an alpha M bonus drinking tip. So picture it, you're there hanging out, you meet some sassy lassie, and you're like, hey, let me go get you a drink, right? You go up to the bar, and there's 37 people. And you're trying to weasel your way up to the front, and you're trying to jump, and you're waving signal flares, just trying to get that bartender's attention, right? Well, a trick to make sure that when he sees you, he comes up to you first, gentlemen, is early in the night before it gets busy, tip him well. But you gotta make sure that he sees you leaving the tip. Whatever the price of the drink, give him double. So if the drink's $5, give him a 10 and say, keep the change. If it's $10, give him a 20 and say, keep the change. This way, he knows that you are a big tip. The truth is, the next time, you don't have to go that crazy, but the first time, that's the one that matters. The fourth rule that all men should follow is proper drink selection. Guys, this St. Patrick's Day, remember a few things. Number one is that chicks drink daiquiris. Boys drink green beer. And men drink whiskey. You're better than this. You're better than this. You gotta stop with the whole like green beer drinking. Come on now. If you want to take your St. Patrick's Day celebration to the next level, it is time for you to try Bushmills Irish Whiskey. Gentlemen, if you did not know this, Bushmills is the world's oldest licensed whiskey distillery, which means that this is built from Irish heritage. You want to celebrate Irish history? Gentlemen, this is it because this is the first Irish whiskey, not to mention it's incredibly delicious. Once you start drinking whiskey, guys, it's like a different level. So as you guys know, I don't drink a ton, but what I do enjoy is sipping on a great glass of Irish whiskey. One of the reasons why I love whiskey so much more than like this is because I don't get all like bloated and belchy. Personally, I love whiskey and Irish whiskey is one of my favorites. Bush Mills, I've been drinking it for years. It's the best. Guys, this St. Patrick's Day, if you're truly looking to celebrate Irish you gotta check out 
Bush Mills. It is an incredible Irish whiskey that you are going to love. When it comes to ordering Irish whiskey, guys, you got to know how to do it in order to not look like a noob. All right, you got two options. Neat or up is when you just ask for it straight. And the second option is on the rocks or with ice. So if it's like a Friday or Saturday night and I'm feeling like a whiskey, guys, I will typically drink it neat because I'll sit there, I'll sip it, and when I'm done, I'm done. But if I'm out at an event or a party, typically what I'll do is get it on the rocks because it's going to allow me to sip on it longer. The downside to the rocks is that it does dilute the whiskey slightly but that's also kind of an upside. It's going to prevent you from drinking too fast and getting too drunk. Which brings us to the fifth drinking rule that all men should follow, which is pace yourself. If you want to ensure that you have the best time possible when you go out, you got to pace yourself. Do not drink too fast. What I'd recommend is in between each drink, have a glass of water, have a bottle of water. It's doing a few things. It's slowing your consumption of alcohol. It's also making sure you stay hydrated. So when it comes to alcohol and your body's ability to metabolize it, typically the general rule is one drink per hour. But if you're consuming like two or three drinks an hour, you're going to get like freaking wasted. And that is going to be a recipe for a disaster because nobody likes a sloppy drunk. Which brings us to the sixth drinking rule that all men should follow. Don't do shots. Shots? Like shots? Shots? Yeah, bad idea. Never do shots. So there you are, hanging out, having a good time, sipping on your Bushmills, talking to that sassy lassie, when all of a sudden, your boy Brian breaks out the shots. Let's go, shots! Everybody, come on, come on, come on, come on, let's do, let's do shots, let's do, let's do shots, boom, right? And then he does one, and then you're like, I don't know what to do, right? Well, I'll tell you what to do. Don't do it. It is okay to not accept the offer of a shot, all right? Because what's going to happen in approximately 10 minutes Brian's going to be laying on the ground with Cheetos all over his face exactly and you're still going to be sipping on your Bushmills whiskey talking to that sassy lassie and last but certainly not least the seventh drinking rule that all men should follow is have fun but be responsible guys it's about you going out and enjoying yourself you got to pace yourself you got to be responsible you can never drink and drive it's about doing the things that you need to do to ensure that not only you have a great night you have a great next day all right gentlemen that's it happy saint patrick's day enjoy yourself be safe don't do anything stupid gentlemen cilantro